Hello and welcome to Darius Comic School and today we will take a look at uh, Scott McCloud's making comics. Um, when I started drawing comics or when I when I when I uh, made the decisions I want to do comics uh, finally it was um, the fall of 2013. I'm 36 years old now um, and I guess I was 29. I had finished um, movie school or I want to like um, call it. Um, I went for writing and directing, something like that. Um, but I really always wanted to do comics. These are my two comics. Um, I'm actually working on the last pickup artist linked down below. Every comic I make will be available uh, to read for free but also to buy if you want to support me on Patreon. Um, yeah, do it so I can put more of these out. Um, more on that later. Um, well, let's say uh, it's called Awesome and Aware Publishing and we'll go into that in a second. So, making comics. In 2013 I went then to work for the movies because comics uh, wasn't really possible and then after failing or kind of asking myself what am I doing with my life I always wanted to make comics I wanted to make awesome comics like um, well maybe it's not the best I can put on the table but I wanted to do this um, and like I know a lot of people want to be Mike Mignola or Jim Lee or stuff like that and well maybe we can be but not in a rush it takes time and then I decided okay let's get serious uh, I had a bit of money left and I thought I would only stay a few months here at my mother's and then I got myself a couple of books and uh, I sold my League of Legends account. Um, it was 2013, it was pretty early, but um, I already was uh, a veteran playing. I would say everything I touch, I can become a pro because um, I'm kind, intelligent and creative and yeah, I'm blessed with all of that. And I guess you are too, because we're living in countries where you can watch this video, I assume you have internet and some mobile device so I include you in being blessed and before we look into this um, I also want to say um, life is not for everybody the same we always keep comparing us we maybe want to compare us to Mike Mignola to Jim Lee to Alan Moore to some other people we aspire and like for me it's more the US guys for others it's more the manga stuff but every story is different because uh, everybody goes through some different stuff and that's very important in my eyes and I think that's where the goal is I mean sure you might like Jim Lee and Batman stories and entertainment and that's all well and fine if you can do that do that um, if you can do a watchman do a watchman your story will be uniquely yours uh, like I did last pickup artist because this was my wound and then once I realized man I want to draw just orcs and barbarians and space apes yeah I'm gonna finish this and then move on to the next um, series I could also turn this into uh, 70 comics but I think I tell this story and then move on to another story um, which doesn't mean I won't come back but you know what I mean sometimes like before Helmi Yola drew Hellboy maybe it he had the inkling in his head but it took a bit of time so sorry for all the rambling but it's important before we come to this book because we uh, talk also about philosophy and general thing so I got myself also another book um, because I was into dating and into self-help and uh, self-awareness I got myself also a Tony Robbins book um, but I sold that one off and Eckhart Tolle is like the philosophy part awakening to life's purpose and as I see it we have a lot of mindless entertainment and we have, uh, we have a lot of problems in this world so this came in handy because I wanted to find out 
where I can do the most damage, where I can do the most benefit, where my hand drawing pages can be the most awesome. Like, um, and I liked what I saw in uh, Age of Apocalypse. So these uh, splash pages on the second page, I included them also in my comics. And now it's kind of 2000, um, 22 almost and I haven't lived up to all my dreams but but I have a lot of experience under my fingers so it's not all in vain and I'm repurposing or reconnecting to the direction I want to go and um, bear with me we're coming in a second to this book um, so this was the philosophy and then the uh, highly effective people stuff like some uh, planning because you cannot only just work and not just um, rest and you have to do a, a couple of things and then I got myself making comics The Invisibles and Elmore The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen I mean you can already sense the vibe I'm totally into yeah a bit of the strange stuff. So now we come to making comics. I'm sorry that it took me so long, but I think the pre face is kind of important because when I got myself this book, I was ex I was like, okay, I think I, c I I I have read comic books. I think I can do one. I can do a cover. I can do interior pages. I can write it. But um, making a comic and that's that sometimes. Um, I think, and this is why I make this channel, I mean, I make this channel just for uh, shameless promotion of my products and for myself, but it's not the real reason. The real reason is like, I wanted to create something that gives you real guidance because um, you can see people on Instagram that have really cool drawings and are super famous, but in my eyes, okay, they have really cool drawings, but they create just a bunch of crap. And then you have people who have good stories or maybe good stories, but the drawings just, they just freaking suck. And so I want to marry both. And I got myself this book and I read it. And um, what this book, it is a very thick book and it gives you a great overview when you're beginning and starting because Scott McLeod takes you on a journey and um, as thick as this book is um, making comics doesn't have to be as complicated and I don't want to say that the book is complicated it's a good book it's just uh, well what is it it's a good book if you start making comics and if you need some guidance and th I think it is a book about making comics but it is not, uh, or at least I, I don't, I don't know if it was. I, I was rereading it, but it is very, very uh, theoretical. And when you're starting out, it gives you a great overview um, about the topic. Um, and I have to say, this is a good comic to 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 let your dream grow, to to get you going because it's it's very honest. It gives you the things, some guidelines, or more than guidelines. It gives you, it gives you definitely uh, a direction, and it advises you with a lot of things you will need. And I think it's definitely a masterpiece to break down everything you need. And while I was reading it, I felt really good. And I think um, some people, I will go to my guitar. Um, when I bought my guitar, people told me, oh, for that money, like I paid like 200 euros for that, um, it's a Squire Strat, it's, it's, it's one of the, it's an affinity, and everybody told me, oh, it's a crappy guitar and everything. I'm very happy with it, and the good thing is, look at it, it's sexy, I want to pick it up and I want to, I want to play it. And when you're a beginner, that is, that is the important part that you just start that you feel good and that you stick with it 
and what this uh, making comic does is it really it really takes your hand and it gives you and it takes you into I don't know how, how do you call it like um, the rabbit hole follow the white rabbit and the sister rabbit um, and definitely things I have already learned or think I know um, are very clear when you're reading this like you feel really good um, you think man I want to do this okay this makes sense okay I'm soaking up all this knowledge and I'm gonna apply it and um, this is where I have to say it's the greatest strength of the book and also a bit of the weakness because um, once you start um, it takes a while it takes a while to master a lot of things because making comics is not just one thing I, I guess this is what I'm rambling on uh, for the past 10 minutes at, and the, the point I want to hit home that you think okay I'm a single person I can do this but you have to understand that the people who made the, these are like uh, Alan Moore one of the best who cr who, who who made himself a name um, and then here Grant Morrison and also you have people who draw this and maybe they have uh, had a bit more time or or uh, more care to de develop and so doing it all on your own can be a bit um, hard and can take time because you need to learn to draw at least in a decent way that it looks okay or good or that it can hold up to uh, let's say industry standard or that somebody wants it because like if I draw you this page and I tell you oh do you want to buy it for a hundred bucks if you don't see the value in this then you won't but if you get a book like this for 12 bucks or something like this or uh, a book like this for 20 and you you might sense the value you totally spend it and this is where you want to go you want to be high quality at the same time you don't want to work yourself to death and you don't want to starve to death so you need a source of income and when you're starting out maybe it's not the best thing to just rely on your uh, drawings as I did um, because it puts that puts a lot of pressure on you but where this book comes in handy is it gives you a lot of references because like you see this and you will know okay I like this comic this is more from Sin City. What is this? What is this? And then down below, he always quotes where they're from and he hits home all the points like timing, storytelling, um, framing, telling a short story. Um, then it's a great thing. I came to this book for many, many years when I was uh, looking at expressions or faces. So where is it I had always a sign in that because like um, this were the pages where yeah look at this when I when I needed something when I needed to draw uh, a face I always c came back to this so I c could see um, how the expression needs to be so this was also a great workbook and yeah I guess after 30 minutes of rambling I can recommend this book but know that um, if you start making comics this is not you buy this book and then you know how to make comics it's just the beginning it's the start it's the start of the journey and it's a good start and maybe it's also good to come back and read it again but then I have to say I am not a big fan of the th theory uh, once you have got the ball, ball rolling like let's say you have already drawn a bit then maybe it's better to go back and study how can I draw it better how can I color it better um, how can I write a better story and so you improve or um, at the areas in which you think you need to go or maybe you need to put out uh, more consistent content or maybe De definitely a couple of things like watching after your health um, 
ha having good relationships and all of that stuff like that all counts so can I recommend making comics definitely I can um, check it out I don't want to say it's for beginners or something if you re resonate with this book get it um, and what I'm saying it's 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 great freaking theory and it's amazing um, but don't get stuck only in the theory do also a bit of creating um, and do maybe one part theory and two parts um, creating and putting stuff out and sucking at it because like um, as I see it the last few years I put out stuff and I'm proud of some of it or all of it but then again you look back and it kind of sucks and you want to get better and, and you're gonna want to get comfortable till you're at a certain point where it looks like this and that takes time and maybe it's like Ed Sheeran says like you have to get out the shit out of your system so you can get to a good, to a good ones and I wouldn't call it that I think you just need to to grow as an artist and the shame in this world is that um, we waste a lot of our times with stuff we don't need like our parents don't properly train us um, the schools do not properly train us um, and they mostly create us to be a kind of tool to fit in into the society um, and then you you kind of sense you want to do something else and then it's maybe too late or you're in the middle and it's hard because you want to create something and life is already going and you wasted a bunch of time but you're also privileged that you still can do it or manage to do it so um, yeah a bit of a strange rambly video but I hope it could help um, and the last thing I wanted to say if you have any questions ask me anything like anything like if you have depression I can help you um, because I went through and came out the other end if you have money problems I can tell you something about that if you say um, what tools do you use please make another video on what tools you use um, and how expensive they are then I will make that video because I would recommend to kind of stay cheap or slim um, yeah any questions uh, if you ask me what do you uh, think about that artist or or about that comic book and I will always tell you honestly what I think if I don't know nothing about it I will tell you that I know nothing about it if I have an opinion about it I will tell you so till the next video and we'll see us